Aloha, good morning, afternoon, and evening. This is Master Paul connecting with you today. It is the 13th of December and it is a Wednesday. It is also day three of the 10 days of the 10 Da. And I really enjoy uh, doing this, connecting with you. I enjoy talking about the 10 days of the 10 Da's because each and every time I go a little bit deeper into the wisdom and the teachings that my teacher Master Shah has brought to us, it, I, I get another layer, another layer of the wisdom, another layer of the, um, the value of the teaching. <clears throat> so as always, it's a great opportunity. And then also, because I am able to share with you some of the deeper, higher wisdom and the mantra that goes with the uh, Tenda, then there is an opportunity for each of us to have further purification and clearing of our own personal karmas related to that particular quality that we might be out of alignment with. <clears throat> Today is day three of the Ten Das, uh, Ten Days of Ten Das, and today is the greatest compassion, Da Tzu Bei. So I encourage all those that uh, want to improve their life, change the qualities in their life. If you have problems with energy, this is actually a very good um, wisdom for you to be hearing. And there is some, uh, a lot of actually deep wisdom that Master Shah brings to us around the subject of compassion. It also has a direct association to Kuan Yin, uh, Kuan Yin Buddha, who is a beautiful benevolent uh, female Buddha, <coughs> at least referred to as a female Buddha. This here is a, uh, a picture of Kuan Yin Buddha. Most of you will probably recognize that. And you'll also see like in the hand is a, uh, a twig. And in the other hand, she is holding a vase. I don't know if you're able to see that up close or not. But um, Kuan Yin Buddha is a, <laughs> excuse me, known as the Buddha of compassion. And so um, I will invite her soul in today to offer any guidance, wisdom, and of course, blessings as we move forward on the third day of the 10 days of the 10 Da. So let's see who's joined us so far. Welcome Johannes, Aloha NNC. Welcome also Phyllis Casper. Welcome Kristen Rojas, Aloha Christy. And welcome Farinaz. And welcome Kathy Arnold, Aloha Carol Frederico. And welcome uh, Robert Dosa. Aloha Paula Hyatt, and welcome also Sharon Dodd. Welcome Linda Smith Jenkins, Deacons. And welcome Karina for coming in from Norway. Wonderful. Great to have our European team over here. It's late over there, so thank you for coming in so late. Welcome Heather, welcome Jim, good to see you. Aloha Lisa, and welcome Don Robinson, welcome Becky Lafave. Welcome to Jennifer Chris Smith, aloha. I have to blow my nose after that sneeze. Give me a moment. <coughs> that was a allergy sneeze from the incense that I lit over here. So hopefully there will only be one of those sneezes. Yeah, Kuan Yin is, is a beautiful servant. I always love to hear from her, see what she has to say. So yesterday, in case you missed it, <coughs> um, I focused on the second day of the Ten Das, the greatest forgiveness. The day before that was greatest love. So many of you uh, are familiar with it. Some of you are not familiar with it. There are Ten Das. They are the greatest love, greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest light, the greatest uh, harmony, excuse me, the greatest Humility, and then the greatest harmony, greatest flourishing, greatest gratitude, greatest service, and then finally, greatest enlightenment. The reason they're called the Ten Da, Da in Mandarin Chinese means greatest. My spiritual teacher and father is Master Shah, and he's Mandarin Chinese. So he, uh, he teaches us both in, in Mandarin and in English. And the Ten Da are Da Ai, Da Kuan Shu, Da Tzu Bei, Da Guangming. Da Chen Bei, Da He She, Da uh, Da Chang Sheng, Da Ganon, Da uh, Fu Wu, and Da Yuan Man. 
It takes a little while to get them on. So thank you, uh, Kristen Rojas, for uh, assisting. Kristen is an awesome universal servant, and you keep an eye on her posts. Uh, when she's not saying hello to folks, she's putting important information in her posts. <laughs> so thank you, Kristen. So welcome also to Vanessa. <clears throat> welcome, um, Criselda Guerrero. Welcome, Erica. Welcome, Nelson. And Aloha, Pat. Aloha, Maria Crispy. Welcome, Tony Tay. And Elin Berent Anil. Welcome, Aloha. So thank you all for coming. It's great to see a big crowd today. The greatest compassion is a very, very important subject. I put a quote in from the Dalai Lama. Uh, when I looked around for quotes this morning on Google on compassion, there was a lot of uh, quotes related to Buddha. And one of them that I considered putting out there was um, that you are not giving the greatest compassion until you give it to yourself also. I said, wow, that's a beautiful statement. <clears throat> but I didn't want to isolate anybody just thinking this was a Buddha teaching because it's not. It's a, it's a universal teaching. So that's why I chose to use a comment from the Dalai Lama because he's universally accepted as someone who doesn't take sides, so to speak. Uh, so welcome, Missy. Aloha. Welcome also to uh, Cez Garcia. If I missed anybody's name, forgive me. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul, as I always do with my live streams. We do that by placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Aloha, Johanna. What are we doing here? We are learning 10 qualities that improve our lives. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to stick around and receive some value. <clears throat> so we're going to start by connecting to the Divine Tao and Source and invite all the beings of light in. Let's drop our hands, our left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And I will invite in the beings of light. They're all layers of the Divine, the Tao, our beloved Source Creator. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask most humbly, most sincerely for your presence today. Dear all angels, healing angels, and archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, all Buddhas, all bodhisattvas, dear our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, and beloved Lingui Sheng Shi, Kuan Yin, beloved Namo Amitofu, we love you all, honor you all, deeply appreciate you. We ask your presence as appropriate. We ask that each and every one of you come to bless all of us, to awaken us to the Ten Da and to today's teaching, the greatest compassion. We ask that you offer guidance to each and every one of us at the level we're able to receive and to clear the blockages that inhibit us from being more compassionate, not only to those outside of us, but to our own selves. I thank you for this opportunity to receive your blessings. Dear the soul, of the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, appreciate you. We ask you to please be present. We ask that all souls in all universes chant with us at this time the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to offer this unconditional service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so for those that are new, just tuning in, this is how I open all of my live streams. It is a mantra that connects heart to heart, soul to soul. It is also a blessing, so you may make a request at this time and receive the blessing. For everybody else that wishes to tune in and join in, let us chant to serve. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lu. La li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la li lu la wo ai wo xian er ling wo ai tran ran lei wang li rong I love my heart and soul, 
I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so for those that wish to learn more, and Kristen's uh, chat, she's posted the link, lovepeaceharmony.org. And just on a side note, before I go into today's teachings, I um, last night I was the lead teacher in the Love, Peace, Harmony uh, service to humanity, which goes through Master Shah's Dow Center every Tuesday night here in Honolulu. And so we were, you know, uh, streaming to Facebook, we were streaming to the uh, many folks that tune in and register every week. <clears throat> and I asked at some point during the hour or so of chanting, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, everybody to choose a request of something they wanted to chant for. And one of the people that was watching on Facebook said, I want to chant for my son. He has significant um, uh, addiction issues. And uh, and so we chant for everybody. So I said, okay, dear the soul of her son, please come. Dear the soul of all those with significant addition issues, please come. We chant for all of them. And everybody had their request. So at the end of the evening, uh, we received a post from this woman. And she said, a miracle of miracles happened. She said, my son called me literally while you guys were chanting. And he said, mom, he said, I don't know what happened, but I just, I feel I'm completely done with this addiction. I'm just, I'm tired of it. My heart feels open. I just, I need help. I just called the police and I've asked them to come pick me up and take me to a, uh, a um, recovery center. This is, he did this of his own accord and he didn't know his mom had made this request. Uh, I find that a little bit more than, than just accidental. I think there's a lot of synchronicity and everything in life. I think uh, everything has a cause and an effect. So when I tell you the Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony uh, is not just a song, I hope you listen. Learn more. Keep returning. There's so much more that uh, we can assist you with. So uh, Kathy said she just saw big ocean waves coming in. So welcome also to uh, Johanna. I hope you stuck around to we'll continue to stick around. Uh, welcome also Lotzia and welcome Aileen Berent, aloha, coming in from Lyon. I think that's in France. Got a couple Europeans staying in late. Welcome. Uh, welcome, Rian. Welcome also, Merta Patrago. And aloha to Lidsid, Lila Sid. And welcome, Michelle. Good to see you. Welcome, Deborah Anderson. <coughs> and um, Johnny. Aloha also to Jessica Christine. Thank you for coming. Thank you all for hitting the share button and letting other people know about today's live stream. Ten days of ten da. The first day, Monday, the greatest love, da I. Yesterday, the greatest forgiveness, da quan shu. Today is greatest compassion. What is the greatest compassion? I want to refer to uh, some wisdom that my teacher, Master Shah, has brought to us. And so far this week, nothing's changed and, and refer to this book. Uh, this is my teacher, Master Shah. He wrote with this gentleman here this book called Soul Over Matter. I know it's backwards in your camera. <clears throat> but it's a money-based book. It's how to bring money into your life. And it's called Soul Over Matter, not Mind Over Matter. This gentleman is a financial guru. He teaches hundreds of thousands of people how to make money with Mind Over Matter. Master Shah met him, and this man realized he needed to level up his game, his comprehension of money. And so they co-wrote a book. Master Shah also literally reversed his son's deafness since birth. His son, this man's uh, son since birth uh, was deaf. And so after Master Shah did a blessing and his sons can hear again, uh, he, start, he says, yeah, maybe I should pay attention to this master. I think he might have something going on. And so they wrote a book together. And in this book, he revealed <clears throat> the, first, uh, the first time uh, in writing information on the ten das. Now, it applies to every aspect of life. In the book, he gears it towards financial and business success 
But as you get the book, as you read the book, and I'm not selling it, you can don't buy it. I don't care. But if you if it's of interest to you, um, then know that whatever is stated here is not limited to just financial blessings, because it helps with every aspect of life. So welcome to Nataja Hall. Uh, Aloha. Welcome also to uh, Annie Asquith. If I missed anybody, forgive me. <clears throat> so, what does Master Shah say on the ten das and datsu bei? <laughs> datsu bei means compassion, the greatest compassion. Compassion boosts energy and stamina, vitality, and immunity. How many people think about that? How many people go? If I'm compassionate, I'll have more energy and stamina and vitality and immunity. Very few people would think that that would be the side effect of offering compassion. The Buddha wisdom would say, be compassionate to self as much as you're compassionate outside of you. Many of us are not very compassionate to self. Imagine if you were compassionate to yourself. Would that boost your energy? I think so. Would that boost your uh, their love? Would that boost your vitality, your stamina, your ability to keep going? Would that boost your ability to fight off disease? I think so. Why? Because you're simply honoring yourself. You're not putting yourself down or shooting on yourself. I did not say the S-H word. I said shooting, S-H-O-U-L-D. I should do that. I should do that. Right? We do this. So stop doing that to yourself. Be compassionate to yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me drink some water. Hopefully get rid of this little... Okay. So I will read this uh, mantra to you. And this is part of a four-phrase mantra... Uh, for those tuning in for the first time, Master Shah has these ten, ten das, greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, greatest light, greatest humility, greatest harmony, greatest flourishing, the greatest gratitude, greatest service, and greatest enlightenment. I will touch on each one of these all of these days. <clears throat> but the Master um, has created a mantra, and I will be chanting this mantra along with you as I have the other days. I hope you stick around and enjoy it. The mantra goes like this. Sandatsubei yuan li jen chang fu wu jong sheng gong de wu liang. Let's see what that means. Remember, he is Mandarin Chinese. So he did translate it to English, but this is how he received it. Welcome Patrice Avalon and welcome also to Bedelia. Thank you for joining. So Sandatsu Bei, what does that mean? The, the third of the greatest qualities is compassion. Sandatsu Bei, San is the number three. Datsu Bei means compassion, greatest compassion. Yuan Li Zheng Chang, Zheng Chang, Yuan Li Zheng Chang. Yuan Li means increase willpower. Welcome, Joy Home. In ancient wisdom, compassion increases willpower. How many have blockages with willpower? I, my hand is up on purpose. I do have blockages with willpower. I'm very procrastinating. I have a lot of things I just don't want to do. <clears throat> know they need to be done, doesn't matter. <clears throat> so, when we are compassionate, not only towards others, but towards ourselves, it increases our willpower. So, so think about it. We're sitting there and go, I should do that. I should do that. I should do that. Uh, that's not very compassionate. We should be like, um, I love myself. I need this break, but I will be uh, smart and honor that after the break, I will take care of my other responsibilities because I, I made the agreement to do so. Okay, so then you make an agreement with yourself to fulfill that, but you also honor yourself. That's an example of being self-compassionate, but it also fulfills willpower, which is one of the ancient secrets. So in ancient wisdom, compassion increases willpower and compassion carries strength 
to transform many areas of our life, including our finances and business. Interesting, huh? Fu Wu Zhong Sheng. Excuse me. Fu Wu Zhong Sheng means serve humanity. Fu Wu means serve. Zhong Sheng means humanity. So the three lines so far are the third of the ten da's is the greatest compassion. It carries and increases your willpower and transform your life blockages. Offer unconditional service to humanity. The final line is Gung Da Wu Liang. Now listen, this is a <laughs> this line. If you just chanted this one line, you would watch your life flourish. This is this line is a very powerful line. Gung Da Wu Liang. Repeat. Gong de wu liang, gong de wu liang, gong de wu liang, gong de wu liang. Listen what it means. It means virtue is immeasurable. You cannot measure the amount of virtue you receive. Now this requires a little bit of teaching on virtue. So Master Shah goes on to teach. He says, these four sacred phrases can be summarized as follows. Sandatsu Bei, the third of the ten das, is greatest compassion. Yuan Li, Zheng Xing, means increased willpower. Fu Wu, Zhong Sheng, offer service to humanity. Gong De, Wu Liang, receive immeasurable virtue. Receive a measurable virtue. I just love hearing those words because when you understand what virtue is, you will be very happy. <clears throat> on Mother Earth, Master Shah goes on to say, this is on page uh, 96 of the Soul Over Matter book. On Mother Earth, a person works for a company. At the end of the month, he or she receives a salary. Salary is the company's compensation or appreciation for that employer's work. In the spiritual realm, when a person offers love, when a person offers care and compassion to others, heaven will give the person virtue, which is heaven's appreciation and heaven's flowers. Heaven's flowers are deposited in a person's virtue bank account in heaven when you do love care and compassion heaven drops into your virtue bank account in heaven flowers heavenly flowers virtue the spiritual currency heaven's spiritual currency can be transformed into physical abundance physical abundance of health Physical abundance of good and enjoyable relationships. Physical abundance of money. As, on, as above, so below. When we complain so much about our financial conditions, money blockages, etc., we do not recognize that we may have earned that on some level. That we may have done things to others, thereby creating a debit in our heavenly bank account. Virtue is a credit in our heavenly bank account. Therefore, chanting, even the last line, Gong Da Wu Liang, immeasurable virtue. I love it. <clears throat> so, before we do a practice for the greatest compassion, Let's acknowledge who else has joined us. And then I'm going to do a soul reading from our beloved Ling Wei Sheng Shi, Kuan Yin. So welcome also Adriana Jones. Welcome Isabel Rice. Welcome Brigitte. Welcome to uh, Mirta Petrago. Welcome Christine Urban. And thank you Robert for your comments. Welcome also uh, Bedelia Barnett. Thank you, Rianne, for your comments. All right. So, 
I've been blessed to train with this teacher, Master Shah, for about 10 years. And as a master teacher, I went through quite a few uh, classes and years and years of practice to do what's called divine flow. And this is a form of channeling. The difference is um, having worked with the soul world for so many years, if I connect with a being of light, like uh, an ascendant master or somebody like that, then the information tends to be pretty pure. Uh, and so I'm going to ask Kuan Yin, who is the Buddha of compassion, <clears throat> to come and offer some wisdom from her perspective on the subject matter of compassion. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this message. So dear beloved Ling Wei Sheng Shi, Kuan Yin, I love you, I honor you, I bow down to you. I ask most humbly, most sincerely, that you come at this time, offer a message on the subject of compassion. <clears throat> Please state whatever is of greatest importance to be stated at this time for all those that are watching and listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, This is Ling Wei Sheng Shi. Ling Wei Sheng Shi translates to soul light, soul servant, intelligence, Buddha. I was given this title recently. You might know me as <coughs> Quan Yin. Although I have been acknowledged for my compassion, I am by no means alone. There are literally hundreds of thousands of enlightened beings who serve humanity in every moment, who serve not looking for recognition, Invisible, saving babies' lives, diverting disaster car accidents, getting doctors' attentions at the right time so that a patient's life is saved. There are so many unseen servants in humanity. There are also those in the human realm. They are the ones that are compassionate. They are the ones that do not turn away from the one who is freezing on the street. They are the ones who open their heart and chant if they can do nothing else. They are the ones that think not of themselves first. So to be called the compassionate Buddha is only a representation <clears throat> of <clears throat> a more important message that your beloved Creator wishes all souls in all universes to be. The quality, Da Tzu Bei, greatest compassion, has been identified as one of the ten qualities for all life. For when you employ this great quality in your thoughts to yourself, about yourself, when you offer compassion to others, when you think, how can I be more compassionate? <clears throat> more aligned to my beloved Creator. What in essence you are doing 
is purifying yourself to be the vessel through which your Creator's light can serve others. For it is not by an individual action that the greatest blessings occur. It is actual by the way of being. What people witness is the greatest service. For what you do not see is the 10, 20, or 30 souls that witness you when you offer that compassion to the one. And it could be that five or ten of those thirty souls, hearts, are touched. And they then pass it forward. This is the nature of oneness comprehension. <clears throat> this is the nature of selfless service. This is the nature of Datsu Bei, the greatest compassion. Do not do for others to see. Do because it is natural. But know that when it is seen, you are having a far greater impact than on the one you are serving. This is the wisdom of the Buddha. This is the wisdom of the highest. Serve unconditionally. Receive immeasurable virtue. It has been my honor to offer this message on this day. I am the one you refer to as Kuan Yin, Ling Gui, Shang Shi. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kuan Yin, for borrowing my mouth and delivering that message. <coughs> and I apologize for having to clear my throat, but needed to do that. <coughs> okay. So welcome Kristen Strachan, welcome Diana Victoria, and welcome Christina Vicole. So I hope you enjoyed that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a practice together to increase our compassion, which naturally increases energy, stamina, vitality, willpower. <clears throat> we're going to do that by chanting the mantra that Master Shah has listed in this book. And the mantra... <clears throat> is the one I just chanted, but we're going to set up our um, we're going to set up the four powers first: body power, sound power, mind power, soul power. So, body power. Let's place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, just like a prayer position. But we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, and the right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. Close our eyes. Let us connect. <clears throat> Repeat after me if it is comfortable. Dear soul, mind, and body of myself. Dear soul, mind, and body of my heart blockages related to a lack of compassion for myself and for others. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Let us practice compassion to increase our willpower and boost our energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. Now we connect to the outer souls. Continue to repeat. Dear my beloved Creator, the Source. Dear Heaven, dear Mother Earth. Dear the soul of Datsu Bei, the greatest compassion. Dear Kuan Yin, Compassion Buddha, <clears throat> could you please bless me to release my blockages in being compassionate to myself and to others? I would be most grateful and honored. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
So for your creative visualization, you want to visualize that your heart center opens up bigger and bigger and bigger while you are chanting, okay? <clears throat> we will chant the mantra, and I will chant it a couple of times, and you can catch on. Also, if you keep an eye on Kristen Rojas' uh, uh, posts, she will also post this mantra, all right? <clears throat> so with your eyes closed, you can just tune in and chant along. Sanda Yuan Li Zung Chang Fu Wu Jong Chang Gong De Wu Liang San Da Tzu Bei Excuse me. I wish I had a mute button. I honestly wish I do. I don't want coughing in your ear. Yuan Li Jung Chang Fu Wu Jong Chang Gong De Wu Liang San Da Tzu Bei Yuan Li Jung Chang Fu Wu Jong Chang Gong de Wu Liang San Da Tzu Bei Yuan Li Jung Chang Fu Wu Jong Chang Gong de Wu Liang Again San Da Tzu Bei Yuan Li Jung Chang Fu Wu Jong Chang Gong De Wu Liang San Da Tzu Bei Yuan Li Jung Chang Fu Wu Jong Chang Gong De Wu Liang <coughs> The third of the ten Da qualities increases will power serve humanity serve humanity virtue is immeasurable thank you Kristen for posting the words <coughs> the third of the ten da qualities increases my will power Serve humanity, virtue is immeasurable. Again, the third of the ten da qualities increases a will power. Serve humanity, virtue is immeasurable. Third of the ten da qualities increase will power serve you manity the virtue is immeasurable <coughs> excuse me and back to the Mandarin Chinese. Join in. San Da Tzu Bei Yuan Li Jong Shang Fu Wu Jong Shang Gong De Wu Liang San Da Tzu Bei Yuan Li Jung Chang Fu Wu 
忠诚，功德无量，三大慈悲。万里真强，福众生，功德无量，三大慈悲，万里真强，福。无众生，功德无量，三大慈悲，一万里增强，福无众生，功德无量。One more， 三大慈悲，一万里增强，福无众生，功德无量。<coughs> Now English， the third of the ten da quality。Increases will power serve humanity. Virtue is immeasurable. The third of the ten da qualities increases will power serve humanity. Humanity, virtue is immeasurable. One more time. Third of the ten da qualities increases will power serve humanity. Virtue is immeasurable. You have been getting such huge blessings this entire time. Kuan Yin is just pouring blessings on all of us. There are so many beings of light that are present, blessing each and every one of us. <coughs> How do I know? Trust me, I know. Now I will chant all three of the first of the three of the ten das. Each time I teach, we will go back and chant all of them in a row. So the first of the ten das is da i, the greatest love. The second of the ten das is da kuan shu, greatest forgiveness. The third of the ten das is da tzu bei, greatest compassion. So here they are all in a row. Yi shi da i wu tiao jian i rong hua zai na. 心情生命，二大宽恕，我原谅你，你原谅我，相爱平安和谐。三大慈悲，一万里珍重，福无众生，功德一万两，功德无量。English, <coughs> the first of the ten da qualities. Give unconditional love, remove disasters and challenges. Heart is clear and transparent. The second of the ten da qualities is greatest forgiveness. 
I forgive you, you forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. The third of the ten da qualities increases willpower. Serve humanity. Virtue is immeasurable. Isn't that beautiful? Just amazing. <clears throat> when Master Shah received these, he wrote all of these down as he received them. The ten da qualities, all of them, one after the other, within ten or so minutes. Just received the information, wrote it down, and then had it translated into English. All of the wisdom that Master Shah brings, he gives credit to heaven. Why did heaven bring the ten da qualities to humanity at this time on Mother Earth? At the very beginning, I received a message. I didn't state it yet, but at the very, very beginning, within the first ten minutes, first ten seconds, excuse me, <clears throat> I heard the ten da qualities are here to serve humanity, to save humanity's lives because... Look around, folks. War is on the precipice. Already, it's in many places. It just hasn't touched a lot of us directly yet. Disease is pretty rampant. Just about everything that uh, can create fear uh, is pushed in our face. Whether we want it or not, it's pushed in our face on a daily basis. And what this world and humanity needs is these ten da qualities the greatest love compassion forgiveness light the greatest humility no more ego we need that the greatest harmony we need to harmonize our thinking not be separative we need the greatest flourishing we need gratitude we need to be a service to each other and when we employ these previous nine we reach the greatest enlightenment the tenth of the ten das the comprehension of these, the activation of these, the putting forth of these in our life is what will bring humanity back to a place of safety, back to a place of origination. We are far from our original Creator's love, very, very far. And when we incorporate these ten das into our life, thoughts, words, and actions, we bring ourselves and all those that come along with us much closer to our Creator's heart, to our origination source, to our original soul. So I bow my head to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, uh, countless bow downs, for without this great being on earth at this time, we would not have these wisdoms and the incredible power through which I'm able to serve. If anybody is interested in releasing blockages, they have blockages with love, they cannot forgive somebody, no matter how much they try. They have difficulty with compassion. Connect with me. I can offer a special blessing called the Crown Chakra Blessing. And it's in essence, it's a heaven blessing. It just comes right through the crown of your head. And it pours through and just rotor rotors these blockages out of your body. These are karmic blockages. These are not things that you would wish on yourself. Therefore, they have followed you from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime, and they create closures in our heart. They create the inability to forgive some souls for the things they may have done to us. They create the inability to, to uh, look at someone with compassion instead of with anger. <clears throat> and so if you have these blockages, connect with me. I'm happy to serve you. I will return tomorrow for day four of the ten das, the greatest light. And we will employ future mantra and the wisdom the Master Shah has brought to us, have a greater comprehension of what is light. How do we actually incorporate that to improve our life and other people's life? And what can we do to clear those kinds of blockages so that we can be the greatest light? It has been my honor to serve you. Thank you, all the beings of light who have come today, Divine Tao Source. Thank you to my spiritual father, Master Shah. Thank you to beloved Ling Wei Sheng Shi, Kuan Yin, and all of those that have come uh, un unknown and unspoken. We're extremely grateful for your service. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.